Hey guys, Richard Holder here and welcome to the channel. Today we got something cool. We got 4.3 liter V6 versus 4.2 liter inline six cylinder. So we got V6 versus inline. We got two valve versus four valve. We got fixed cam versus variable cam. Let's get it on. In this video, we're going to compare the 4.3 liter Vortec V6 motor to the 4.2 liter Atlas inline six cylinder. And not only that, we ran them both naturally aspirated and under boost. That's right. We ran them both ways. Now with the 4.3 liter V6, we know that it doesn't make nearly as much power as the 4200 Atlas motor. So we allowed it a cam upgrade. So how did the cammed 4.3 liter V6 compare to the stock 4.2 liter Atlas motor? Now when we ran them under boost, Get your comments ready because we ran the 4.3 liter V6 with a centrifugal supercharger and we ran the Atlas motor with a turbo. So get those comments ready. This is not apples to apples, Richard. You don't know what you're doing. But to even the score, we allowed more boost on the 4.3 liter V6 than we ran on the 4.2 liter. How did it all turn out? Let's find out. Okay guys, if you take a look at the introduction to this video, you'll see that we're comparing the 4.3 liter V6 to the 4.2 liter inline six cylinder, the Amerobera Atlas motor. And if you take a look at some of the other videos I've put up already, you'll, you'll know I'm a big fan of the 4.3 liter V6. I like it for a number of reasons. First of all, it makes good power. If you take a look at the factory power outputs, they were around 200 horsepower, which is pretty stout for a little V6. I also like the fact that it's basically three quarters of a small block Chevy V8, meaning that we can put a lot of V8 stuff on this thing. For instance, the supercharger that we ran that we're going to use in this comparison for the video came for, it was designed for a small block Chevy. It was a torque charm supercharger designed for a small block Chevy application, but it bolted right on the V6 because basically everything was kind of in the same spot. And I like that about the little V6. I also like, and a lot of guys dismiss it, but on the 4.3 liter V6, I like the later Vortec balance shaft motor. I know a lot of guys want to get rid of the balance shaft because we, you know, it frees up horsepower. But really the thing that's holding this V6 back is it needs good cylinder heads. And we'll see not only are the cylinder heads different, obviously the, the, when we're comparing the V6 to the inline six, but also we have variable cam and all kinds of things. But it just shows what progression happens when we go from one in or one engine configuration to another and how we improve over time. So this is our 4.3 liter V6. It was all stock. It was a motor that we got from the wrecking yard. We did freshen it up. Um, we took the pistons out and put a little bit of ring gap in it. This was actually going to go in a boat and this motor's running around right now in my friend's boat. So it still works very well. It had the stock heads on it. Um, they were treated to a valve job and such. We ran a stock camshaft in this case, but we would also put a bigger camshaft in it. I'll show you that date in just a second. But run with stock exhaust manifolds, um, but no accessories the way that we run it and run with a, uh, performer intake manifold, the Edelbrock intake manifold, and a, an Edelbrock carburetor. This thing produced 207 horsepower and 282 foot-pounds of torque. And as you can see, it was designed for low speed power, which was ideal for the boat that we were putting this in, but it made peak power below 5,000 RPM. And we didn't even get to where it was making peak torque because we only loaded it down to about 2,800 RPM. So ideally, this thing probably would make peak torque even lower than that, but it offers a, a ton, relatively speaking, a ton of torque. It offers a lot more torque than it does horsepower, showing that's kind of a mild application. But let's see how this thing compares to a stock 4200 Atlas. And this is actually an early one. This is a 2005. So it does not make as much power as the later 2006 and up stuff. It was rated uh, higher than the, um, than the V6 was. But let's see how they actually compared when we ran them on the dyno. Big, big difference in power. <laughs> down, down low, down in the 3000 RPM range, we're looking at very similar torque productions from the motors. Not surprising given the fact that they're very similar in displacement. But on the 4200 Atlas motor, we have a number of things going for it. One, and, and guys might point out the difference between a V6 and an inline six, but actually it's a lot easier than that. Um, we're talking about much better cylinder head flow. The, the four valve head, on the 4200, even the early one, which doesn't flow as well as the later one, flows a lot better than the than the little V6 heads. 
Also, it's a four valve. <laughs> Also, it's a uh, it has variable cam timing, which helps extend the the power range. So it has a lot of things going for it. It has coil unplug, and it has a lot of things going for it that the little V6 didn't. But primarily, what we're looking at here is a function of really good cylinder head flow, probably a better intake manifold, and variable cam timing, which allows the 4.2 liter to do what the 4.3 liter could not, despite the fact that it was a slightly smaller. So in stock trim, and we ran the 4200 with the stock exhaust manifolds, uh, a pipe exiting the exhaust just like we did on the 4.3 liter, and we just tuned it the way that we did, and we did the same thing on the 4.3 liter V6. We just turned the distributor and, and advanced the timing until we got maximum power, tuned the jetting on the carburetor to get an optimized combination, and this was kind of what we expected. But you can see the 4200 Atlas Amerbera motor, even the early 05 one, makes a lot more power than this 4.3 liter V6, in naturally aspirated stock trim. Now let's find out how they compare when we added boost. In this test, it's even more telling the difference between the earlier 4.3 liter V6 and the later Atlas 4200 Amerabara motor. This was our stock one, and I wanted to show you guys what happened when we upgraded the V6, and it still really didn't get to the power output of the Atlas motor. But what we did was add a fairly good sized camshaft. And I'll go ahead and put the specs up here, but it's a 224 de degree duration camshaft from comp for available for this V6. And you can see it picked up quite a bit of power. We had a little bit of loss down below 3000 RPM, but it jumped power up by 50 horsepower basically running this cam. This is a fairly healthy cam for the V6. But again, as we compare this to the stock uh, 4200, it's still nowhere near the power output. I mean, it's making 250 compared to 290 for the, um, the, Atlas motor, and honestly, I think that the Atlas motor, this particular one, didn't have great compression in two of the cylinders, so I think there's probably even more to be had because the V6 was rebuilt. We know that it was kind of in perfect condition for a stock motor. So I think there's probably even more power to be had from the 05 4200, but even cammed up, the 4.3 liter V6 just really doesn't have the head flow that it needs to compete with the 4200. But I want to show you this before we get to the boosted combinations because when we ran boost on the 42 on the 4.3 liter and compared it to boost on the 4200, it was with this camshaft. So let's check that out. Now that we've taken a look at what these motors and how they compare naturally aspirated, let's take a look and see what happened when we applied boost to them. And you guys can get ready to yell and scream because we didn't run the same kind of boost on both of them. But this is what I had in the comparison, so this is what we're going to take a look at. This is our 4.3 liter with the 224 comp cam in it, made 250 horsepower NA. And I'll show you real quickly what happened when we added a Torque Storm supercharger. With a blow-through carburetor, we ran a CSU carburetor, as you could see, we shut it off at less than 6,000 RPM. We started to get a little bit concerned about the strength of the motor. I don't know how much power these things will take on the V6, and we didn't want to hurt this one. As I said, this was going in a boat, so I wanted to make sure that the thing lived for this test. It was still climbing a little bit, although not rapidly. Um, run with a Torque Storm centrifugal supercharger. This thing made over nearly 460 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 423 foot-pounds. And again, with the centrifugal, we have a rising boost curve, so we also kind of have a rising power curve that kind of artificially changes where this thing makes peak power. It had more power left. We obviously, the, the torque storm will support 700 or 750 horsepower so there's more than enough blower there uh, i just didn't know how far to far to push this thing and we ran it with the pulley that comes with the torque storm the way that they have it for the small block chevy but this thing at the top boost was over 13 pounds it was 13.3 pounds and and showed no sign of <laughs> of letting up so there was plenty of boost and plenty of power to be had but this is what the the v6 did but here's what the 4200 did under boost. This was our this was our NA combination, and this is what happened with just 8.3 pounds of boost from a single turbo. 
you can see that this is getting a little busy. I'll get rid of maybe the NA stuff here. So this is our, our two boosted combinations. In red, we have the 4.3 liter with the Torque Storm Supercharger. And in blue, we have the 4200 with a single turbo. But the turbo is running 8.3 pounds, and on the V6, we're running a, a little over 13 pounds. And as you can see, the 4200, because it made more power NA, and also partly because we're using a turbo and not a, a centrifugal supercharger, but it has more boost down low. It makes a lot more power, even at a lower boost level. Even if you compare them out at the peak between 5,500 and 6,000 RPM, you'll see 8 pounds of boost on the 4200 made more power. Our peak power checked in at 482 horsepower. Peak torque was perfectly <laughs> perfectly flat our torque plateau of right at 500 foot pounds and the interesting thing is on the 4200 we even ran uh, the boost up a little bit 11.3 pounds and naturally it made more power it made 579 foot pounds and the peak horsepower jumped up to 555 horsepower we started to get a little bit of a dip out here at the top which we think might be valve springs uh, we're going to take we're going to obviously take a look at this again and run the 4200, but even at still a lower boost pressure, 11.3 pounds versus over 13 pounds on the little V6, when you start out with more NA power and you add boost to it, <laughs> you're going to make more boosted power. So the 4200 kind of wins this comparison. I, it doesn't stop me from liking the 4.3 liter V6. I do like those. I think that they're awesome little motors and they have potential. I just wish they had better cylinder heads. Then we could even this out a little bit. But really, you know, as time and technology march on, if we look at a conventional small block and look at what we're looking at now with the uh, new LT1 style motors, we see all of those make a lot more power than the small block, just like the small block made more than the flathead Ford's technology marches on. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, what do we learn in this comparison between our 4.3 liter V6 and the 4.2 liter or 4200 Amerabera inline six cylinder Atlas motor? We learn the following thing, and this is a fairly common theme. Time and technology marches on and GM has a way of taking something that they used to make and making it even better and more powerful as we go on. We saw this evolution in the small block Chevy world and we certainly saw it in the V6 stuff. And I could have included also a comparison between the 4.3 liter L99 V8, which is better than the 4.3 liter V6, but still not as good as the 4.2 liter Atlas motor. Now, here's the interesting thing, and we can take a look, we can point to a couple of different things in this comparison. One, obviously the Atlas motor is newer, so, you know, more technology, but also the real thing is that it has much better head flow. I mean, we're talking about heads that flow probably 40 or 50 CFM better than the 4.3 liter heads, and that helps a lot. You can never have too much head flow. Also, it has variable cam timing, and it also has four valve heads, which not only do they produce more peak flow, but they have a lot more average flow. So they're just better all the way around. And when you combine that with variable cam timing, it allows the motor to have a much broader torque curve and still make power out at the top, even with fairly mild cam timing, because all they need to do is retard the cam timing and it continues to climb like it has wilder cam timing on it. It has a good intake manifold. It just has a lot going for it. But if there's something that I do like about the 4.3 liter V6, I kind of like its packaging. The Atlas motor is both long and very tall, so it's going to limit fitment in a lot of applications, whereas the 4.3 liter V6 fits everywhere that a small block Chevy was, and even some places that a small block Chevy won't fit, because obviously it's not quite as long. I do wish, though, my, the wish list for the 4.3 liter would be that somebody makes like an AFR enforcer head, and I know Brodux made heads for them, but they're not very available and they're hard to come by. I also wish that somebody made real intake manifolds for these. I know that we ran the Edelbrock manifold, and that's basically all that there is, but I wish somebody had like an RPM air gap style intake manifold, or a real single plane intake manifold. For them and that would be awesome i wish that it had basically i wish the v6 had the support that the small box chevy has that we might see more people hopping up these little v6s but that's just my wish list our richard holder make sure to like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff more testing coming up